In this video, I'm going to show you how you can block off the second Monday of each month. So that would mean that in a 12 year or a 12 month period, we would have 12 Mondays blocked off as opposed to every second Monday, which would be 26 Mondays blocked off. And so here I have a basic schedule. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up. I'm on the developer tab. I'm going up to my macros and I'm going to select second Monday and I'm going to run this. And so um, goes through the year. And so let's go back to the beginning and we'll take a look. Okay, so this is April. And so the first Monday of April is the 4th and the second Monday is the 11th. So let's scroll on to May because we don't care until we get to May now. And so the first, um, the first Monday of May is the second and the second Monday is the ninth. So now you can see that it's gone through for each month and just blocked out off the second Monday for each month for the whole year. So let me show you what I've done in the code. So I called it second Monday and R as row, C as column and they're long, M-O-N being month as long and this is a num month number that I'm looking for. And the date is a date. Now I'm on um, column equals two and row equals seven is where I'm starting from. And now I'm figuring, I'm figuring out what the starting month is. So I'm selecting this, um, this uh, cell right here and I've got the month in there. Now, um, see so we have four, one, 22 in that cell. And so then what I'm saying is uh, month equals whatever the month is for in this, in this cell here. So it's obviously going to be four. Now for column equals two to 384, which is just more than a year. And what we're going to do is we're going to select that same color, that same cell again. And then we are going to say that that, that is from now on, that's the date. Okay. Now, if format the date M equals month, so it's if it equals the four that we have up there, then R equals seven, so we're starting at the top. Now, if um, now we're gonna look for, we've got the month figured out, now we're gonna look for the Monday. So I've got up here um, on this third row, I've got the day numbers, which, which are um, one to seven up here. Now, when we're looking for um, a Monday, which is a two. So now if it says, if sheet one cells uh, three, uh, row three column equals two, then, then you start working. Then you start at row seven and you go right down to the end of the schedule. And then you're gonna put in meeting for all of those. Now, you're not putting a meeting in the one that, the first Monday that you find, but you're offsetting you're offsetting it by seven. So you're, you're finding the first Monday, then you're offsetting by seven, so you get the second Monday, and then you're putting the meeting in there. Now after the meeting's put on there, then you're finished with that month, and so now you go on to month equals month plus one. And so now it's gonna go through and do it for the next month. I will, of course, include the, um, the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.